guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Liliana. I'm a Portuguese fashion designer living in Paris, but literally just moved in. I was living in London for six years and now learning French. Bonjour. Bienvenue. Today, the video is about pattern making. I've done a few videos on pattern making. And um, if you haven't watched those, I would say go and watch it, see what you find interesting. Uh, but today we're doing a pair of trousers and um, all of these patterns that I do I base on my own measurements so I share with you and let's just do it guys, let's just do it. So we are going to start our pattern by the base lines. Um, in the middle of your paper or in your muslin we are going to draw a straight line. This is going to be the grain line and in here you should measure the desired length of your pants. In my case I came up with a 91 centimeter length. Uh, yes, I am that short. Uh, but remember we're doing a pencil um, pattern for this video. And then you square line the top and the bottom. This will be your waistline at the top and at the bottom will be the ankle line where we're going to have our seam closing the, um, uh, the pants pattern. And then from the waistline, on the grain line, we're going to measure the crotch level. And I actually recorded how you measure the crotch level when my battery died, and I don't have that. But basically, if you have a hard surface, you sit on it and you measure from your waist to the hard surface, and then you have your crotch level. And then we um, do a square line as well, and this will be our crotch line. I am now drawing the knee line and we can find this line by finding the point, the halfway point between the crotch line and the bottom line. Find that half point and then add 6 centimeters from the bottom line. So divide it by 2 and then add 6 centimeters and then you have the knee point. So for example, if the distance between the crotch and the bottom line was 20 centimeters, divided by 2 is 10 and then you add 6 centimeters, so you will measure 16 centimeters from the bottom. So now we have all of our baselines to start building the pattern for these pants. From the grain line on the crotch line, we are going to measure 1 8 of the hip measurement plus 1.5 centimeters for ease. And ease, as I mentioned before, is the extra little bit of room in your garment. Um, and then this point will actually be the crotch point. Next. From the crotch point, we're going to find the distance between the crotch point and the grain line, divided by 4, and then add 1 centimeter. And that measurement that we just did, we're going to measure from the crotch point, which means that now we're going to have two points on the crotch level. The point that we just found, we're going to square it up. On this new line, we're going to copy that measurement between point A and B in the crotch level, in the crotch line, and add 1 centimeter. So copy that measurement plus one centimeter, find the middle point of between the new line between those two points. And now we need to connect those uh, four points in a diagonal. And it will give us basically a middle point that we then will be used to create the crotch curve. Don't worry, if you ever get lost, I have the image here on the side for you to have a look. And also you have my website which actually details step-by-step step written and I find it very very useful. Now it's time to draw the dart. The dart on the front of the pattern is going to be two centimeters so that means that on the grain line we're going to measure one centimeter from each side and then connect it to the dart point and to find the dart point we will measure 10 centimeters on the grain line and then yeah just connect those three points. On the crotch line, on the left side this time, from the grain line, we are going to measure the 1 8 of the hip measurement that we used before, um, but we're not going to add the uh, ease. And the reason why I'm not adding is because I wanted more of a fitted um, a pants pattern than, uh, than the usual. But feel free to try on with and without ease. On the bottom, we're then going to measure the width that we want for the trousers um, and as I mentioned, I want to do a pencil trouser, so I want it quite fitted. So at the front, I'm going to do a 10 centimeter um, width for my pants, and at the back will be a 16. And then all we need to do is connect those uh, two points from the crotch level to the bottom line. As I mentioned, I really wanted this uh, um, to be a fitted uh, pencil trousers, so I used my curved ruler to give more of a round cut to the pants. 
and this will just make sure that it, it fits me properly but as i mentioned before don't forget to try on first before you do any um, garment with the pattern try on the pattern before you do it and i really recommend it to do it on muslin the point that we have on the waistline that connects to the crotch is actually our waist point and from there we are going to measure one quarter of the waist plus 0.5 centimeters of ease plus two centimeters of the dart plus 0.5 centimeters because the front is always bigger than the back. When you have that point, we're going to then mark another point just above the waistline, about 0.8 centimeters, because the side seam always needs to be slightly bigger than the waistline. Um, and then we need to connect it to the uh, point on the, um, on the crotch level. And to do so, just elongate that line that comes from the bottom halfway through until you meet the waist and then connect it with a curve. Uh, when you do that, then you're ready to just around the, the curve point from the waist. And next, we need to round also the uh, crotch level. So you just need to pass, as, I meant, as I'm showing here, and um, crossing that middle point um, in diagonal lines that we found earlier. And then you have your front done. Now, onto the back. You can either use um, the same um pattern and just draw on top with a different color pen or you can use um a kind of a see-through um pattern muslim sometimes can be see-through to um to use it as a, as a baseline to to create the back and i actually prefer to just use um something see-through i find it much easier because then i can just cut it straight away i don't need to repass it all over again so we are going to start from the waist point on the front, we are going to measure 1 20th of the waist measurement plus 2 centimeters, which in my case was 5.45 centimeters. Next, we're going to connect this new point on the waistline to the point on the crotch. Um, elongate a little bit this line because from the point that we just found on the waistline, we're going to have to measure 1 20th of the waist measurement, which in my case was 3.45 centimeters, and we'll measure from that new point on the waistline on the new line that we just created, kind of a diagonal diagonal line. And this would actually be the back the waist point. From this new point, the waist point from the back, we are going to measure one quarter of the waist measurement plus the dart, which in this case will be three centimeters, plus 0.5 centimeters of ease, minus 0.5 centimeters because the back is always slightly smaller than the back. And you measure it until you find, you use that measurement until you find the waist the waistline for the back, okay? When you find it, just put, mark that point down. From this new point, we then are going to measure 1 12th of the hip measurement, which in my case was uh, 8.6 centimeters. And this would actually be the beginning of our dart. So from the, this new point, we're going to measure uh, the dart uh, measurement which is three centimeters for the back and then find the middle point between uh, which in this case would be 1.5 centimeters and do a square line to this uh, to this new uh, line that we just created and this will be the middle of your dart so um in the middle of your dart we then going to measure the length of the dart which in the back is 14 centimeters and then go ahead and connect those three points so next from the uh, um crotch point on the front pattern, we want to measure 1 20th of the hip measurement, which in my case was 5.2 centimeters. And then from that point, you want to add another extra two centimeters. So you'll have two new points on the crotch line. The one that we added two centimeters longer, we're gonna do a, a small square line going down because that's gonna be our crotch point for the back. And then on the left hand side, we're going to only add the 5.2 centimeters, so only the 1 20th of the hip measurement. On the knee line, we're then going to measure 1.5 centimeters for each side. This is because the back of the leg is always slightly rounder and bigger, so we just give a little bit more space. And then on the, on the bottom, we're going to add the desired and width that you want for your trousers. So as I mentioned, for the front I use 10 centimeters and for the back I'm using a 16 centimeter because I wanted a pencil fitted um, um, trousers. So you can go ahead and connect those points. Just don't connect any points to the crotch line yet because we're going to go and do that in a minute. 
and um, I used the round curve to get that proper fit. As we did at the back, just elongate that line on the left side of your pattern and then use the round um, curve to get the proper hip curve on the back of the pattern. So to get the crotch point, the first thing that we need to do is connect the knee point to the 5.2 centimeters point on the crotch line. So the first point on the crotch line. Then we need to see what's the measurement on that line and divide it by three. We are going to use the lowest third, so the point that comes the first in that line to connect it to the crotch point. But to find the crotch point, we first need to measure the distance that goes between the knee line and the crotch line on the front pattern. We figure out what's that measurement and then we take it 0.5 centimeters. We're then going to use that measurement to copy to the crotch point. And to do so, we're going to start from the one third that we measured before and use that measurement, copy it until we find that straight line just underneath the crotch level. And then with your curved ruler or by hand, you can do the crotch of the back. And as you can notice, it's a little bit below than the, the crotch for the front. Go ahead and do the last tweaks on the pattern. We do need to bring the, the side seam point a little bit above because the side is always a little bit bigger um, than the, the, the center of the pattern. And then we are done. Now, obviously, there's one last thing to do, which is the notches. And um, you can go ahead and take the and separate them or you can keep them. And it doesn't really matter, but this is basically what they look like. And for the notches, we need to... For the front pattern, from the waist point on the crotch, we are going to measure 18 centimeters, and that will be our first notch. And for the back, we're going to measure the same thing on the, from the waist point on the crotch, 18 centimeters, and then another one of 19 centimeters. And um, in here, I did it at the front, forget it, it's 18 for the front only, and then 19, 18 and 19 for the back. We also need to um, mark down the knee level and the crotch level on the rest of the pattern, as well as the... Don't forget to mark down all of the details besides the notches, also the grain lines, because this will help a lot when it comes to bring that uh, pattern to the fabric. And if you watch it so far and you made this pattern, well done. And we are all done, guys. Um, I hope you find this not too difficult, not too tricky. As I mentioned, I really wanted to do a more fitted um, trousers, um, but then you can you can play with the numbers, especially the ones and uh, the numbers on the back. You can make it a little larger. Um, what I do really, really recommend is for you to fit this on a muslin and see what fits well and what doesn't. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content about fashion, if you're interested. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to put the thumbs up. Not literally, just click on the damn button. Thank you. Bye.